Warning. The show you're about to listen to is intended for mature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Good harassing is yeah. always fun. Yeah, it's a little harassment. Like light right. harassment is is fine, I think. Yeah, exactly. Would you agree? Yes. I mean, it depends. Depends. Am I the harasser or the harassee? It depends. I mean, no. No. I mean, who's got the time? The show is sponsored by Depends Adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Take the, our slogan, the new slogan. Take a shit, see if I care. Uh, yeah. See, yeah, I think that's so good. true. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. How's everybody doing? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you? I'm great. I'm cold, so I oh, am yeah. wrapped I'm up. Cold. Yeah, I feel like that you little boy. Are yeah, before up there. we were all ghostly. We were kind of like that little boy from yeah. uh, uh, Criminal are, Minds. Now, are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? Yeah. Um, are you asking me? No, that's the show. That's that's what that. I'm cold. Yeah, that little boy that was like oh, so the little, scary. Yeah, like, he almost looked like a, one of the Star Wars holograms. He was like blue. Right? Oh yeah. yeah, he looked like he was wearing like silk jammies. He's like, probably comfortable. I got yeah. those silk sheets. Uh huh. Shit, dude. You slide right off of them. It's crazy. <laughs> you should see me try to make that bed. It's like a. It's like a oh, fucking. Hey. It takes a while. Yeah. Because then I put it, and then I try to put the blanket on, and then it slides because there's zero friction. Mm, zero. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they warm? They actually do get warm. They, really? I don't think it's cold, but it is cooler. It definitely mm-hmm. is on the cooler side. I bet in the summer it's a real treat. Oh my god! Oh yeah. You do the thing where you just have your your feet do figure eights. Oh yeah. Oh like the cr- or like I like to do like cricket motions when I'm trying to fall asleep yeah. with my feet. I do that after I've just fresh freshly shaved. I'm like, <laughs> I feel good. I feel, there's no greater feeling than like a hot everything shower yes. as a woman. Uh huh. Yes. That's where you buff you. You shave, you do everything. Yeah. Body you have scrub. Like, and you it's have exhausting. Like hot it red is, skin from it all is, the burns. Like I like I come out of my everything showers like with like a black vignette around my eyes. And like everything. So most <gasps> showers aren't everything? I mean most showers is like you know, I'm There's a deep clean. This is a, like you for me, I, you know, wash my hair, shampoo my hair, uh-huh. you know, I that's the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Condition, uh, wash my body, wash my face, and like that's pretty much it, and then the everything shower. Do you wash your ankles? Yeah, I. I you soap I, I, ankles. I, I trudge down the legs because I, I I've heard they get kind of if you if you if left unkempt ankles an ankle could be dangerous. Yeah, for no. your health. I mean, my no. It kills five people a year on washing ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, an everything shower is like when you are like I'm gonna exfoliate my whole body. I'm gonna shave my whole body yeah i'm gonna your lip your top lip stop it <laughs> your sideburns your majora and menorah <laughs> your, no, oh my gosh, washing the it. stars that's crazy i'm sorry no i'm so sorry um, labia menorah sounds jewish <laughs> um nice but then jewish like afterward wash. Like, you're so tired that, like, uh-huh. once you get in bed, you're, like, especially if there's clean sheets on the bed, oh, yeah. it is the best I feeling But I heard on ever. the radio that you can you can have mushrooms growing out of your uh, pillow if you go to sleep with wet hair all the time. I don't go to sleep with wet hair. I blow dry my hair. Oh, okay. I go to sleep with wet hair, but I do this thing called put my sheets in the wash, so that doesn't call happen. Thing, I call this thing. No, wait, what if it creeps, like, the, the dampness creeps through the pillowcase, through the pillow. Into the mushroom. Like, into, like, the... The filling. Well, I've had like my pillows for like, about seven years now. Oh my God, Piper! There are There's no mushrooms penicillin on it, in that. So that is a mushroom block. <laughs> I'm telling Cut you, if you half. slice a hole in the pillow, and they'll probably fruit. Like those they'll probably fruit. Beauty blenders. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Ew. <laughs> for real, though, uh, that is nasty. Oh my God! Uh, but in, in all realness, though, I have not seen a mushroom sprout out of there. If you do, let yet, me know. I'll so. try to identify it. Yeah, I'll definitely um, I'll, I'll definitely like Chris like chicken it. of the woods. I'm like that's chicken of the woods. That's I'll a lot trim of course Cincinnati stem and I'll give it to you in like a little ziploc baggie. Uh huh. Like, fried up. Just like you'd love it. Just yeah. like, fried up. Bring it over. Titled evidence. Like, It'll be our dinner. We'll all split yeah, a mushroom. Exactly. Gross. A pillow. Like, <laughs> gross. No, thank you. Uh, Here's Piper's wet hair mushroom. <laughs> 
No. It tastes like pain. No, I, like, after my showers. Biolage. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. I, my showers are so hot, like, especially if I take one at, like, nighttime before bed, uh-huh. that I have to, like, lay on the bed with just my towel on my head. That's it. That's... And cool off for, like, 30 minutes. Like a hot that's rock? Real. Like a sauna rock? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. I'm like, I. Do you, yeah. do you rinse your hair with cool water? Cold water? I do. Yeah, I was going to say, because oh, yeah. I hear that kind of helps it not I do. You have be cuticles. Marv from Home Alone. Because mm-hmm. you have cuticles in your hair that need to be closed, so. Yeah, it helps with, like, it what helps happens if you leave like them open that will like then something get in split ends and everything but and especially like, if you have color treated hair it helps like seal the color in yeah. and all that so i treat all colors the same <laughs> as you should as i yes. should as yes. one should and if you if this is the first time you're hearing this well i'm glad it started with me yeah because <laughs> the buck stops with us sure does that's what they say about I don't us tolerate any of that they shit. say oh coffee and scream the buck stops with them <laughs> stops it stops it stocks and stops <laughs> We stock it all, and then we stop it. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> We're very efficient. We get thorough, thorough yes. people. Just like those uh, everything washes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have to try one of those. You should. I've been just doing behind the ears. That's about it. Aww. It's, I was. That's the only thing I was ever warned about. Behind your ears. Yeah. Make sure you get behind your ears. I'm like, okay, then I'm just also, gonna do that. Yeah, I was always told also like don't neglect your elbows. I, like always wash that, your elbows because the ankle thing uh-huh. can actually Same. spread. To the, uh, the elbow. Oh, you get, you get ankle elbow disease? Yeah, you get mm-hmm. elbow-itis. Weenus and... Weenitis. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You ever, you ever listen Christ. to Ween, though? You ever listen to that band? Ween? Yeah. No. They're, no. they're kooky. You should check them out. Um, that would actually... Ween would be great music happen. for, ween. like, when you're doing an everything wash. Ween Are you just pretending would fit. deodorant? No, I was pretending to wash. Wash? Wash my, 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 my pit. <laughs> Just whatever the, just so, the left one, I'm righty. Whatever right. someone says ween, I mean, I, like, I think of like, as in like, get weaned off of a prescription medicine. Oh, like, I think, okay. of, like, I think of like, a, like wiener. Like, <laughs> look at my ween. We have three different things we think about. Isn't that cool? Like, yeah. That's why we're great. That's why we have great right. chemistry because we're we three have, different sickos. Yeah. <laughs> We're like psychotic in our own race. It's beautiful. You should have seen the photo shoot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, I no longer breastfeed Piper. She's been weaned for a while yeah. now. No, I saw her. Her lips were shiny when I walked in. Did you uh? Did you spill the beans yet about our our uh? It rhymes with Shatrion. I haven't. Grape Trion. We do have a little bit of an announcement. We are on Patreon. Yes. yes we are yes, only yes. starting off with just a five. Pay up. Come on, pony up, boys. I need Yelp. to spend all my money at the craps table. I'm a, I'm a big gambler. Chris <laughs> Chris has a lifestyle that, you know, he's just accustomed yeah, to. And I won't change it. I got to keep him in silk sheets. Yeah. I'm looking. I want to get one of those big, like, tables, those big LED tables that Drake has. Yeah. You ever see that? Yeah. He's got, like, a big fucking gambling table. Yeah. But I don't gonna... gamble, by the way. I don't, I don't fuck no. with that shit. Give me your $5 so that I can um, obtain my spiced Coke addiction. Thank you. <laughs> no, this spiced is a- Coke? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm thinking of I was like, what the fuck is that? Spice, <laughs> spice cooking. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought yeah. she was yeah, had the little no. fanny pack. She, she mixes cinnamon with hers. She's <laughs> Yum. Like, oh, that's my favorite. Ow. If I had to do Coke, cinnamon wouldn't be a bad flavor. I mean, don't do Coke. No, no. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, Jesus right. Christ. I mean, as in Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, we are. We, we're big fans of Coca Cola. Um, Patreon. Patreon. Yes. yes. So we are going to start off with just the five dollar level. We're going to have lots of goodies for you on there. We're going to have some artwork that can even be, you know, raffled off. We're going to oh, have yeah. only ep- episodes that are only available on Patreon. Um, you're going to get to tag along with us as kind of the fourth member of mm-hmm. the show. Yes. And Chris, we- full spread. Yeah, Chris, full, full spread. spread. Winking. Ween. They call me the hollow winker. <laughs> hollow winker. <laughs> um, but yes, you're going to get to come along when we do fun things as, you know, friends. There'll be videos, yeah. there'll be audio, there'll mm-hmm. be, you know, all sorts of We're going to chop down the devil's tree. We are. No. That's, we're going to go. that. I wouldn't even fucking carve go a letter into, into the, that. Into the, deep into the Pine Barrens. I and so. we're gonna find the ruins of the Jersey Devil's house. Yeah, Jess and I'm gonna I ding are, dong ditch uh, the Leeds house. Some funky little ideas for that little Patreon in our brain. Yeah, they stunk. Yeah. Yes, we are. What? <laughs> okay, no. she said funky. I was kidding. Okay. Well, we took some pictures tonight that were yes. fun. We did a little ghosty photo shoot. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris wearing my best red sheet. It was nice. Oh, yeah. You yeah. wouldn't believe it. I felt very red. You look very red. I think my my skin is stained red. Do I have red on my face? 
Yeah. You looked good. fantastic. You look like a good. red M M&M. and M. I did. Mm. That doesn't make me feel like. I mean, he's, he's kind of the mouthy delicious. one. He's got the attitude. Yeah, blue he's... blue one's like he's fine. Mm-hmm. Like ribs, blue the blue one. No ribs, the yellow no ribs, one. a yellow one. What the fuck is the blue one? The Who's blue he? one's... I don't think that's really a super popular character. Is he the one that's in jail? Blue, I think, is like a crispy one. Orange, I think, is the peanut butter M M&M. and M. Which is a, that's a female, right? No, I don't She's know. He's got bosom. No, green is the slutty one. Well, I didn't say slutty. I said bosom. No, uh, we, we like the green one. The green one's fine. I'm nothing against yeah. the green one. No, she's living her best life. She's got I the like her. legs out of all of them. She sure does. She does. And what's the green one? Is it just like one of the minis? Like one of the... Uh, she's just a regular green one. She's a standard one? I yeah. Think. Yeah. Oh. I like the coffee nut ones. Do you ever have those? I haven't. Or the spicy chili ones? I haven't. I was at the M&M store and they had, you had crazy shit. I don't like nuts in my candy. No? No. You just like the peanut butter. Peanut butter Not all peanuts. day. Not peanuts. Not peanuts. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. I like to eat them. Do you like goobers? No. Just not, just paydays? What about paydays? No. Snickers? No. No? No. Oh. I like, but like if I'm like at home, like I like I always snack on like either like pistachios or cashews or like yeah. you know, peanuts, but and not stuff like that. just separate. But I like it separate. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Unless it's peanut butter. Unless it's peanut butter, then like I'll Reese's. eat that shit straight out of the jar. Oh yeah, or like a spoon. Like... I saw your Instagram note. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's okay. I'm no shame. Yeah. No shame. I at saw all. a video yes. of like a dad, and uh-huh. it was like his his daughter, I guess, was filming his technique. And he would like lay two Ritz crackers out mm-hmm. and then he would go in to the peanut butter with a knife and then he would pull it out mm-hmm. and then he'd hit one of the crackers, flip it, flip flop, sandwich, mouth. That's crazy. Oh, that's like, a good dip, technique. No mess, no crumb. T- yeah. Takes him two seconds to have a sandwich, mm-hmm. back in the jar for more. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like my son wanted peanut butter crackers last night. Uh-huh. So how Just I like d- Amish cracker looking things? Like the yellow mean? ones? Like Ritz crackers. But you know like the orange crackers? Like the super ones? orange peanut butter ones, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, the ones that are yeah. like why are they orange? What the cheddar. fuck are they? They're oh, that's what that is. Crackers. Cheese and peanut butter? Yeah, I don't. I don't I get guess it. it it's like cheese, grape, wine, nuts. I don't know. I can see it. I don't. Know. But I always thought I was like, why are they orange? What the fuck is this? Like old leftover Halloween uh, from seventies? <laughs> <laughs> Your guess is as good Listen, as mine. I just had a question. I had a food related <laughs> Instagram note too, so it's okay. Um, was it eat shit? No. no. It was, Don't get Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, what happened? No. What happened? No, um, it, it was, um, I I don't trust people who don't like frosted sugar cookies. Um, I, sp- I don't know if I've ever even had one. Have so I had You one? probably have. Wait, are you talking about the ones that you can buy that are yeah. like thick and pillowy? Yeah. With like that thick I like icing. those. Yeah. You like those? Yeah. You don't like those, right? No, I do. Like the loft house style yes. ones? Yes. I like the one they have like um, red velvet ones. Uh-huh. Or I've oh, had I've never those. seen those. I've had those. I had the Oreo ones. Mm-hmm. Those now, what is good. the cookie? Like the marshmallow? And then like the the icing is the red velvet or no? Is it it's vice just versa? like it's just like a regular schmegular like red velvet. <laughs> regular. Like, Can't say schmeg. <laughs> don't say schmeg. What? What is that? What is that? I don't. Schmeg. Oh wait, 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 wait. I don't want to say. It. I mean, there's people are driving right now. They might swerve into a ditch. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh schmegma. I said, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's just like <laughs> I'll bleep it. But it's is just it like the no. Okay. I just thought it'd be funny to bleep something. I'll bleep this. <laughs> it, it's just like the regular, <laughs> um, like red velvet sugar cookie, mm. and then like there's like vanilla but, icing on top or whatever. But I guess that's not even the point because it's not a frosted sugar cookie. I'm going like off the script because like a sugar cookie is just a plain <gasps> sugar cookie. I think I yeah, have, like the Halloween ones. Yeah, the Halloween yeah, yeah, sugar yeah. cookies with icing. They always do like a thing, like, a little they, decal they, they put yeah. on sometimes. Yeah, I've said they those. always those have. Good. They they always have them for like holidays. Like uh, they 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 Easter. always have the vanilla mm-hmm. ones with like the blue icing and the red, white, and blue sprinkles for Fourth of July. Pink yeah. for Valentine's like, yeah. Day. I like those. I know they're uh, one of those. I don't know. People just fucking seem to hate. I, them. It's like a love hate thing. Like we will buy those, and between me and my mother, they are gone. Within the day. Mm. Like <laughs> I like Miss Fields chocolate like, chip and I like snickerdoodles. I'll take a snickerdoodle uh-huh. from anyone. Pepperidge fucking farm. Who gives a uh-huh. shit? But those ones that Nancy made, those snickerdoodles were slamming. Oh, yeah. It almost felt like the inside had like, it was like, it wasn't, it was almost filled. Were they filled snickerdoodles? I don't know. Unless I they were the, just uh, underdone. Think, they were just no, no, gooey. No, no, no. I think they were. We'll have to ask her. It was um, like cream cheese or something. It was fucking good. This was cookie corner. This is cookie yes. corner. 
which I'm I'm fine having a cookie corner. I love oh, cookies. Yeah, yeah send, I also send like cookies the or a peel box. Six, uh, six, six, you six. do. Yeah, the um the the like long stick cookies from Pepper the Farm, farm the fancies. Oh, with the it. Milano's. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like the, the, the pirouette sticky is stickers. Just pirouette the, sticky. The stickers. Wow, <laughs> that's my new rap <laughs> name, y'all. Pirouette sticky, yeah. mate. <laughs> Cool. Um, they're like um, they're, they're like long, long straw looking sticks. things. They kind of look like Are they twisted, like they long twist? cigarettes. Like a little bit. There's, I think there's a thing of them in the kitchen. I think, or they just like it's just like a rolled cookie, yeah. right? Like yeah, a, it's like a long cannoli. Pretentious. Are they filled? Cookie. Kind of. Corner pretentious. Yeah, pretentious cookie. Oh, that's what she. Oh, because that, they have to be. Oh, we got to be the apple of cookies. Yeah. We got to start from scratch. Like Tate's cookies yeah. only, which Here. they're great. They're good. You know what I use Tate's cookies for? I, I, if I have an uneven chair, Please. I'll stick one under that, <laughs> under the leg. Pirouette. Oh, because they're yeah. small. I, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I've had they're those so before. Good. No, they are good. Yeah. My favorite. I feel like the, the coffee vanilla, sticks, like I'm those basic ones. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like just so a regular good. old Biscoff cookie. I'll take like That's a nutter real. butter. I like nutter butters. I like good. to take like the plain ones and like dip them in my coffee when I have hot coffee. Me too. You opened me up to the world of Biscoff. Didn't I get you those from like the airplane? No, no, I. You gave me airplane biscoffs. I think I did. I don't remember that. I mean, I if, if so, I no, but them. I I'm definitely have bought them while at work and opened them and uh-huh. like try it. Yeah, I remember. It's I think I amazing. I dipped one of my coffee and it like immediately mm-hmm. soaked it up. Yeah. I was like, oh. fantastic. It was it was Some good shit. It was like a sham wow, <laughs> like a sham wow cookie. <laughs> Soaks up all the goodness uh. of coffee. Crazy. Um, but, all right, you know. Anyway, but Patreon, uh, Patreon. You know. Yes, we are yes. on there on Coffee and Scream. I will post a link in the episode description. Lots of gore, lots of fucked up shit. Oh, You're gonna yeah. lots of poop. Uh, <laughs> oh, the poop Patreon. song. Oh, the poop. Yeah, the poop so, song. Can, can I can I go off on a tangent about that? Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm like chronically online, and so this is how I figured this out, but. There's a trend going viral on TikTok right now, and it's this guy on Spotify, and he's called the odd man that sings about poop. And he will make a song with your name and sing about your poop. And Did he make them hot and ready to order? Are we allowed to play a small clip, do you think? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But it's so fucking funny. It's like gross, five seconds. Like five five year seconds. Old humor. I don't know. Like if you're, but it's so I don't funny. think five seconds is gonna do much. I think it has to be like a decent amount. We're not talking. We're letting it through. I don't know. Like if yeah, people came to our show to listen to this guy throw a fucking microphone off a phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Are you I really gonna strike my shit? But like, I hope not. But he's getting. He's probably making handsome money. Probably is. And, and for Spotify. And for Spotify. He only mentions one word. Like he'll say your name and. It's, and poop, mm-hmm. but it's so fucking hilarious. Like he he has a name for everyone, at, including mine. And I was so surprised that he did mine because like mine is kind even of my, unique. Even and my like, daughter, yeah, who does not have a common name. <laughs> yeah, has, like yeah. like my name has been popularized in recent years, but like it's still kind of right. like. If we're gonna do it, yeah. let's do my dad's name because I thought okay. that one was super funny. Okay, it's so fucking funny. My dad's name is Bob. Okay, it's like. Alright. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> okay. And there is some variability in his, no, in his stuff. Like, it'll, you know, the one country twang kind of style. Yeah, one you have. Well, like, my, mine was like the country rock, yeah. like the, like the. It's, uh, we all just want to be big rock star, like kind of like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do not quote Nickelback on you. Nickelback Fox. You don't Stop know. Stop it. Nickelback Fox, I'm guys. <laughs> horns in the horns in the chat. Okay. Like okay. go over the steering wheel. Okay. I'm gonna crash this car. He was in Avril Lavigne. I'm gonna play. Gross. It. He was Can up in that. He was. Dude, he was he was putting up oh drywall. My God. I'm gonna play all 15. He's banging that sledgehammer. <laughs> Well, my daughter just texted me. She was like, there's a new outfit for the Eras tour. Reputation might be announced tonight. I'm like, what is that new album? That would be like the like the second to last Taylor's version that needs to be released before she does the debut one. So, oh, my God. Super exciting. What debuting what? I'm confused. 
Because she still has yet to, she has, she's, you know, she's been re-recording. Yeah. Like her. Old stuff though. Not the yeah, new, like not her do- new stuff, obviously. Yeah. There's two albums left that were recorded under like Scooter Braun and all mm-hmm. that. So she still has to re-record those if she hasn't already or she has, has to announce them. And she always leaves like little eggs, like, you know, Easter eggs and clues and all that. And she's had the same reputation era outfit the entire tour. And it looks like a snake pattern. Mm-hmm. And for like the last few months, it looks like it's been peeling. Like a snake is shedding its skin. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that planned so, or is she just yes. getting lazy? I'm No, I'm sure it's planned. She's letting herself she has, go. It was Taylor mostly Swift. red and then it was like fading to white. And now uh-huh. it's it's white. She did the, So we're waiting on that announcement. Yes. And that is the... She is like artistically my, like very like compelling. Yeah. It, like yeah, I, She like, seems like a drill sergeant. <laughs> like, did you see the making the making of the video of uh, the one she did with Post Malone? Mm. Just the way she talked, I was like, this bitch doesn't seem like she's fucking around. No, she knows what she wants. Yeah. That's what she's getting. Yeah. So, like, my daughter is a huge Swifty, and that's mm-hmm. the kind of something we share together. And yeah. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, your daughter um, could be like a huge fan of Sexy Red. Who? Ski ye. You don't know Ski ye. Guys, horns in the chat again. Stop. Can I do that from now on? Yeah. Horns in the chat. <laughs> Horns in the chat? Oh, well, that's fine. You guys are welcome. Just don't give me anything. <laughs> I don't like itching. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got um, <laughs> um, no, I've been listening to that Sabrina Carpenter's new album uh, a lot. Keep hearing about this Juno pose. And it just makes me think of the movie Juno. Is that what it is? I think so. Is that like a nod isn't there, to that? Isn't there a scene where she's like, Ellen Page is like looking like, like, she's, no. like, in a position. No. Maybe it's a different Juno I saw. Maybe. Maybe it was Bruno. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you thinking of Bruno with the, the champagne is bottle. exactly. Okay. Oh, keep it. Oh, I thought it was the same thing. Okay. I was like, where's the champagne? Anyway, have you guys watched anything this week? No. Can you watch any well, police yeah. chases or any, uh, any, any anything yaoi that's footage? Not that, <laughs> yaoi anything footage? That's, what the fuck? Listen, listen, anything that is not that cartoon. Have you watched anything? <laughs> um... Hmm. You see a fox? No. Did you hear a okay. squirrel? Well, no. anyway. Not anything that's worth mentioning. <laughs> okay. I rewatched Sleepy Hollow the other night. I was going to watch that with Rib. Yeah, I was And I was thinking, because I was like, I'm like, I've seen the movie a bunch of times. It's one of my favorite stories. You know? Ebenezer Scrooge. Mm-hmm. Not even. Ichabod Crane. Sure. Yes. But like, I relate to his mother, like Ichabod's mother, the one who's like, because like, she's just in the woods, just like, being a witch Mm -hmm. you know but i'm like i you know i i would like to just be a a hot witchy lady just vibing in the woods with like amazing boobs like i could yeah she's just like my god that makes sense and that was she looked yeah she seems so cool did you watch robert eggers the witch i haven't because oh my goodness well like sometimes the witch it's on my list of things to watch and sometimes you're gonna fucking love it no i know stop but there's, there's too much hype i get like there's no hype even. It's it's no, like no. You tell me. Oh, like, you're like, you're like it's so good, it's so good. I'm oh like, God okay. forbid. Yeah, because I've led you because I've led you listen, astray so many times. I will watch The Witch if you watch Arthur. But this is my thing. I there's nothing about hype that's stopping me from watching that. It's just so much shit that I watch that I don't. It doesn't come up. I always forget that I have Same. it. No. Yeah. You said something else, but I I'll, you know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll do you a favor. I'll, yeah. let, it, I'll let it go. Okay. How about I move on? Please. Uh, but it's good. Mm-hmm. I watched Evil Dead 2, uh-huh. mm-hmm. which was sick. And someone told me that they couldn't like get the rights or something for the last one. Oh, so okay. that's why half the movie was like a retelling of Evil Dead 1. Because huh. the first two seconds is like he's going to the cabin with his girl. Yeah. And it's the same cabin. And it's like he forgot everything. It's like he was never there in the first place. And there was nothing about him, his memory getting wiped or anything. So I was kind of like, why is he back? Didn't he learn his fucking lesson? But it was awesome. You remember the scene where like the deer on the fucking wall starts laughing? Yeah. Oh, so good. Rib's never seen Army of Darkness. That's the third one. I don't think I have either. Because the end of two, he gets like sucked through a portal and it's like all crazy. And then he's in medieval times mm. and he's got a shotgun. So he like runs everything. Did, uh, how was Wonder Time this week? It was fun. It was mm-hmm. dope. I heard yeah, someone cops got set. Yep. There was evidence found outside of... Ribs in his trash, mm-hmm. which was confiscated and then showed on the show. Right. Um, huh. To get the eyewitness testimony, uh, which was taken by Lu- Lu- the lieutenant, sure. as he's called. He has many names, but the lieutenant. Right. There was um, 
uh, Officer Revenge, mm-hmm. which I thought was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. And then there was um, well, there was another one, some like Lieutenant Adjustment or something stupid. I forget what it was. <laughs> adjustment, <laughs> Officer Adjustment. And Willy Wonka was one of the victims. Willy Wonka was yeah. he was blindsided, frankly. He was. He was taking advantage. And I, Those never, did I not didn't think taste anyone like can Shosberry. get that close to no, Willie. Halloween man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think the candy and all that, you know, it's not Willie's fault. It's not his fault he was dressed that way. I guess. It never is. No. You should be able to dress however you want. Yeah. But not the Halloween man. No. He's from an he's old. He's old fashioned. <laughs> he's from a different time where you could just I, Yeah. You know, club I, I, you I just club him. him. I got to mm-hmm. meet him. You got to meet him, right? I have. Got, I got and he to was meet fine him. with you guys. Yeah, I know. And like, I think it's the ladies. And yeah. I think it was because there was candy. Yeah, he just has so a he preference. Didn't. And I see like the bouncer over there looking nice and like, you know, ready for action. Yeah, I don't know. I think I. He, I, you know, I was just wondering, you know, what he does to, you know, keep his routine, and stay fit. I, I, I think I have something for that because mm-hmm. um, I actually was able to get confiscate some of the bouncer's morning routine. Really? And at the end, I think the reason why mm-hmm. the bouncer let Halloween man is because he's over 21. True. Well, yeah, 500 so. is for sure over 21. I True. would think so. Uh, do, do, you want me to, do you want me to show off what I found? Sure. Bouncer wise? Guys, I have, I have right here. You guys are going to believe this. I found a leaked script. This is actually the bouncer's morning routine. And he doesn't even look at this. I, there was cobwebs on it. He knows what to do in the morning. He doesn't even reference this. This is old. It lives upstairs. It lives right upstairs. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. I'm a bouncer. I bounce. Like a fucking check. Solid marble. Diamond plated. I'm the problem and the solution. Every day, people come up to me and ask, how do I do it? How do I become a fucking brick wall? Step one, dress the part. Left hand, (laughs) right hand, glasses, clipboard. Some bouncers shave their heads slick. Not me, pal. I dare you. Every morning, I wake up and start my routine. Three push-ups. A crunch and a few good back swings for good measure. Time for breakfast. Seven eggs over raw, ice cold. A Red Bull to take the edge off, then another one to put it back on. On and off like a fucking light. Next, I practice hand-eye coordination drills discovered by the late great bouncer Shivo Jones Jr., circa 1977. I start with his patented chest pokes, 15, then 10, then 5, etc. Then onto my effective collarbone holds. Follow me now. Like every great bouncer, vocalizing is everything. You are the elephant in the room and you must make yourself known at all times accordingly. Walk. Move. Now. Walk. Walk. <laughs> Not on the list. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. The shorter, the better. Like a common (laughs) bouncer's temper. My clipboard is registered as a deadly weapon. You better hope you're on the list, chief. In the mirror. Walk. Now. Move. If you fog up the mirror, you told him too many times. Mm. Time for work. And that's about it. That was. That's how you know. That's beautiful. that's. That is a a regimen. I learned a lot. I don't yeah. want to for a second think that I could do what he does or be him, but I'm. Mm-hmm. I, no. I'm better. I think I'm better off. I think you're. I think we're all just mm-hmm. better just for hearing from hearing. Yeah. And that's. that's I'm inspiring. guessing that's from the like horse's that, mouth. I don't want to call him horse. That's like, Don't call him a name. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like animals. No. You don't see an that animal walking around the club. That was a beautiful bit of perspective. Mm-hmm. I think so. If you ever get the chance to see him again, tell him I want his autograph because that's amazing. Better not be a summons. My life. Some kind of, <laughs> some kind of complaint oh, questionnaire. Oh, like. <laughs> uh, so, Christopher. What? You're so good at drawing. 
Thank you. I, You're you even know, good at drawing. I'm trying. Yes. You're even good at drawing with your eyes closed. I do that. It's fun. You so I try. thought it'd be fun for us to do a, a little exercise. Ooh. Are we doing the patented chess pokes? Yes. Shavo Jones Jr.? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Piper and I are going to close our eyes. Let him hear the paper. You can hear. I heard that. You heard that? Yeah, let him hear the this is official cardstock. Okay. Straight from Dunder Mifflin. Yeah. Thank you, Michael Scott. Here, do you want to <laughs> add another one on top of there so, or underneath there so you have something to... Sure. So I figured, you know... Don't shake the fucking table. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Jesus. <laughs> All right. So we are going to draw a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, God. With our eyes shut, and you have to judge which one is okay. the better of the Now, do you guys want a timer? Do you guys want to um, put it between, like, a time constraint? Time constraint? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's do, like... What's... Two minutes? Not even. No, not More even. More than that? Less. A minute? A minute's fine. A minute. I'll keep it a, a minute keep it is a long time, I feel. Well, you got to do the curls, and you got to do the face. You might uh-huh. have to do maybe a spider web, or... No, no, no. Don't do give, a little no. rat. Let's, maybe a little let's pumpkin not overthink rat. it. Let's just do the basic okay. jack-o'-lantern. Okay. And then anything extra is 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 it's good. Fun. All right, so what are you thinking? 30? Let's do 45 seconds. Okay, okay, 45 seconds. Eyes closed. I know. All right. Chris, keep us honest. Yes. Keep well, just eye. keep your head straight up. Unless All you right. have to, unless you feel like I'm going to pretend like I am, like, yeah. Okay, ready? All right. Steady. Go. Ready? And they're off. Jess and Piper embark on an artistic journey mm. to see who will best who in the blind pumpkin challenge their pens are flying sparks flying these pumpkins are looking good you guys are oh my god their eyes are still closed they're going and they're lifting up the pen too they don't even know where they're at but they're hoping (laughs) hopefully luck's on their side tonight and these will be available for purchase on our (laughs) patreon and believe they're gonna be more than five dollars tell you that Oh, yeah. These are one of a kind. These pens were actually used in the Mendez brothers uh, <laughs> trial <laughs> to write Jesus affidavits. Christ. All right, stop. Okay. Are you guys good? Yeah. All right. Because I can give you, because you guys are at 50 seconds. You want to do a couple more? No. I think we're good. Do you All think right. you're good? You guys feel confident? Mm-hmm. Are you confident? There's no going back now. You might as well be confident. Mm-hmm. Ready? Okay. All right. Dom, I'm not even going to look at mine. I'm just going to... Put okay. it this way. Right. Okay, let me get a closer look. Can I um, open it? You can open your eyes. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh! Shut up. Were you fucking peeking? No, I wasn't. Piper's, I promise. Piper's is legit. Let I me pro- see. Show me. <laughs> you bitch. I promise I was I not peeking. I promise. <laughs> promise. So Jess's, Jess's went above. She created a scene. There's grass. Yo, is that a moon? I would try to do a moon and a okay, bat. Okay, I can see that. I like that. Mine looks like a jug bat, like a jug of wine. No, I think it looks, I mean, it definitely is clearly a pumpkin. They're both clearly my nose pumpkins. Is in All my right. Eye. I will sign it. <laughs> Those are actually, I'm actually really impressed, guys. I'm not even kidding. This isn't, this ain't no macaroni art. All right. Uh, Piper's, now, if we're going for accuracy, Piper's actually blue. I, I'm actually really Piper, impressed. Piper, that is really good. Thank you. Now, I almost want to do another one. Yours my nose is, is or in my eye, again. though. Well, no, but, but <laughs> still. No, let's do another one. It's it's still pretty symmetrical, and you you guys did good. I like, that was so fun. All right, now that you, yeah. now that you have a gauge of what 50 okay. seconds is like, okay, try to okay. try to like yeah, think about what you all need. Right, let's and what think you of don't another need. Halloween. A bat. A bat. Now let's take bats a, are kind of hard to draw. Let's do a witch's face. Okay. Okay, I'll take a witch's face. All right. All right. Ready. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, and they're off. As the cauldron bubbles, the bats play in the moonlight. A witch is being born. I feel like I'm drawing on the table. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> now, guys, think about what a witch has. They usually have big noses, curled chins, fucked teeth, <laughs> fat tits, <laughs> a broom... They have uh, a mortar and pestle. Oh, I drop my... They have like, you know, they have cloaks, they have hats. <laughs> this is gonna Long be hair that was <laughs> definitely not combed. It's fine. Just keep going. <laughs> Witches have hair like they were just involved in a street fight. I feel like, what else do they have? Like they just woke up. They just uh, woke up in a street fight. I'm going to draw like, like they ju- Like they died during an everything uh, shower. <laughs> I'll give you guys 10 more seconds. You guys get 10 seconds. We'll be at a minute. I don't... 
and I'll give you the five, <laughs> five, four, three, oh, two, no, I'm scared. one. Okay. And we got a minute. Okay. Now let's check out the witches. Turn to our judges. Okay. Oh, can you uh, remove the pumpkin from that? Because I can't really. I'm like seeing. Okay. All right, pipes. <laughs> I'm surprised. Look at this. <laughs> It's yeah. an, an, look at your cauldron. <laughs> See, like Jet, just like sets the scene. You, you definitely set a scene, and you do background too. Piper <laughs> tends to focus on the subject only, but they're both. Like I said, you you can both tell they're pumpkins, and you can both tell they're witches. All right. The cauldron is sick. I like. I, I'm like surprised at myself. Like how like how accurate yeah, they I'm, are. I'm quite dear, I'm uh, that was so fun. I know. And I promise I wasn't peeking. I promise. I'm not fun. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get you know, an next eye. time next time we're gonna do blindfolds. Yeah. No, we gotta do mace because you, know, <laughs> just, you can't look out the bottom of mace. It's in your eye. Yeah. Look at his little face. So, so sick. Bad. I will be posting pictures of these for everyone to see. Um I think this is a great exercise. It was so funny. And visualizing. This might help with solving murders. It's like if you can sure, visualize. So true. You yeah. know. I think, it, can, I, yeah, for sure. Photographic memory. You got to see the image in your head. This is <sighs> actually really fun. I, right? I want to I wanna do another one. Now, no. I, I right, We'll do more later. I recommend, <laughs> I recommend, like, depending on what it is, sometimes it's good to lift a pencil A bowl up, of fruit. But, but yes. not lifting the pen. If you keep the pen one line uh -huh. in fluid, it sometimes uh -huh. helps, like, remember where you're at. Because once you lift a pen up, and you put the pen back down, who knows where you're at. Mm -hmm. If you keep it on the paper the entire time, oh, my you foot. get that look. Like how we do the flowers oh. and stuff. That was so fun. Mm -hmm. That was cool. You guys did good. Oh, also, did you get I, a new keyboard over there? This is, yeah, some cheap shit. Beautiful. I, 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 you know, I figured because I, I like to do this thing where mm -hmm. it's called, uh, you know, spilling beer into keyboards. Oh, no. I do this thing often. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what? How, I'm not going to buy another RGB one. I don't, no. I don't need. Big oopsie. Yeah, I don't need the lights. But I'll tell you what, when the lights when the lights turn off, I can't see a sh fucking thing when I'm typing. Because mm -hmm. there's no lights. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see here. I think it's time to get into the main topic. Yes. Blind killers. Yeah. <laughs> that would be appropriate. I don't know. Crazy. There's got to be one. There's, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we did an episode like pretty early on of Survivors. Yes. Mm. Uh, I gotta scroll up in my article. Is this Hitchhiker? Uh -uh. Well, but was that the Hitchhiker episode? Yes. With the this, arms? Yes. That was the Guys. Mary Vincent episode. Guys. So, all right. We are gonna read 11 women who survived murder attempts. Mm. So one of them is Mary Vincent, so I will not be covering her story again if yeah. you want. Do you know what episode that is? That I'm... Well, they're not really numbered on... They're numbered for us, but... They're numbered for us. It's not... It's pretty early on. It's just Survivor Kids. And this is episode 48, by the way. Let me look Who's it keeping up. track? Uh, we are. I, I know. Kind of got to. Yeah. Survivor Stories was... One, two, three, four, five, six. Episode six. So episode six, mm -hmm. uh, we talked about Mary Vincent. Damn, six? Yeah. It's been... It was... A, Quite a while ago. We're old men yes. now. I know. <laughs> uh, we have we're seen many a men. lifetime. Yeah, Chris, you know, he still talks about Mary Vincent. He's I still I that poor fucking woman, dude. She's badass. She, she is, is. I'm persevered. so glad she's all right, but oh my god, yeah. like So, uh we I want to like hold the doors for her. Like mm -hmm. this is just yeah. it's crazy what she's been through. I couldn't imagine. So, we're going to read an article by Kat McAuliffe on Ranker. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. To start off, it says, Tragically, many women abducted and held captive by murderers are unable to escape their attackers, resulting in their horrifying and senseless deaths. However, some very courageous and lucky women and girls were brave and fortunate enough to survive their close encounters with sadistic murderers and serial killers. And not just any killers. Some of the scariest serial killers in history, like the Grim Sleeper. What the fuck is that? Oh, is that I'm Ramirez? Gonna... No. The Yorkshire Ripper. I was waiting for you to make the noise. I had a mouthful of Guinness. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh -huh. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Ted Bundy and Robert Hansen, to name of, uh, just a few. Whether it's due to good fortune, remarkable intelligence, or unending determination, 
or some combination of the three, these women who survived unsurvivable ser- uh, killer scenarios became real-life heroines after their clothes brushes with death. While these women who avoided being murdered were undoubtedly left with physical, emotional, and psychological scars, they came away from their shocking, scary experiences with some incredible stories of survival. These women are true survivors, some of whom went on to help other women with their experiences. Mm-hmm. Oh, Brady, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a moment of silence for yeah. Mary Elizabeth. Winstead. Vincent? Huh? Which what? one is it? What's your name? Mary Vincent? Who played Ramona Flowers? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Winstead. Yeah. But it was Vincent. Mary Vincent is the one who put the Mary Vincent. Arm. Oh, I'm she's sorry, honey, I'm one, sorry. She's the first one listed in the article, Um, so we'll just fly right As by. As in number her. one, shocking? She's, she is the number mm. one. Good, because that's fucking insane. This lady had both yeah. her arms chopped off, and she climbed up an embankment, like, naked, and with no arms, packed them full of mud, and somehow managed to still survive. Yeah. So she so is a fucking bad crazy, bitch. Dude. Hell yeah. Yes. Love her. Um, just... Yeah, I know. Okay, go ahead, Piper. I'm sick. Lisa McVeigh Noland felt her captor's face so she wouldn't forget what he looked like. While riding her bike home from work on November 3rd, 1984, uh, 17-year-old Lisa McVeigh Noland was kidnapped by Bobby Joe Long and taken back to his Tampa, Florida home, where she was tied up and blindfolded. For 26 hours, Long repeatedly raped Noland at gunpoint while she begged him not to kill her. While she was afraid her captor would end her life, Nolan felt his face, making mental notes about his pockmarks and mustache so she would be able to describe him to police if she survived the attack. Nolan also made sure to leave her fingerprints all over his bathroom in order to prove to law enforcement that she had been held captive in his home. Incredibly, after being imprisoned for more than a day by a serial killer who had fa- who, who had already murdered several women... Nolan managed to convince Long to let her go, telling him her father was ill and relied on her for help. After reporting the terrifying ordeal to the police, Long was arrested and he was eventually convicted of multiple murders and given the death penalty for his crimes. While Long is on Florida's death row awaiting his execution, Nolan went on to become a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputy. As a member of law enforcement, Nolan uses her unique skills and experiences to protect her community from people like Long. Two, de- two decades after she was kidnapped and raped by one of Florida's most notorious serial killers, Nolan said, I'm a survivor and a warrior. There's no victim. Good girl. It's so bizarre to have like, like she like a conscience, like, if that's what you call it, like to even let her go. It'd be like, oh, poor guy. Yeah, all right, yeah, like, all right, yeah, get yeah, out of yeah. here. Yeah. Go scram. She's like feeling his face. Like she's like, ew. Oh. Like, ugh. it's like that like, bit from ugh. Family Guy where she's like the blind chick is touching Rocky's face from mask. Oh, oh god. Oh, what is uh, this? A side of a house? Oh my god. <laughs> it's so. Oh. It, it's such a classic. I try to find that movie to like show my daughters. So mask. I find it. Yeah. What you're like looking for? Like I swear, Cher is in it. I swear. Yeah. yeah. If that. If mask that is were awesome. me, I would like accidentally say some judgmental shit that would get me killed. Like, oh, you need some Sarah V. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like comb your mustache. You Don't sick pick. Prick. Yeah. You, you Stop. <laughs> Anitra Washington helped put her attacker behind bars. In 1989, 30-year-old Anitra Washington was walking to a friend's home in South Los Angeles, California, when she reluctantly accepted a ride from Lonnie Franklin Jr. after he repeatedly offered to give her a lift. He told her, that's what's wrong with you black women. People can't be nice to you. Like, no. What? First of all, what the fuck are you even saying, sir? Like, I must have missed that. What was that? What was like, that? I guess... Just because she was black and she didn't want to get into a stranger's car, he had to say something stupid to her. Like, Yeah. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. No, women, like, we are not going to get into a stranger's car. That's how no. we get murdered. Like, Even if you're you. stranded, you're going to be like, Fuck. No, I'd rather I'm gonna, this is going to be a long walk. I'm just going to yeah. huff it. Like, yeah. no thank you. Uh, not wanting to seem aloof or rude, she got, uh, she made, uh, she got into his vehicle. After making a stop at his uncle's house, Franklin, without warning, shot Washington in the chest. When she tried to flee the car, Franklin told her he would shoot her again. Then Frank, oh God, then Franklin raped Washington in his vehicle while she bled from the wound in her chest. At one point, taking a picture of her bloodied body. He did? Yeah, he did. 
After raping the 30-year-old woman two times, Franklin simply opened the door of his car and pushed Washington out into the street. Struggling to remain conscious, uh, Washington managed to get to a friend's house and eventually received the medical attention she needed to survive the attack. Nearly two decades later, Franklin, uh, Franklin was apprehended with the help of familiar DNA and was later convicted of murdering 10 victims between 1985 and 2007. Washington was a star witness at his trial, and her powerful testimony undoubtedly helped put the serial murderer, who was dubbed the Grim Sleeper, oh, there by he the is. press behind bars for the rest of his life. After Franklin shot her in the chest, Washington told him, if I die, I'm going to haunt you. Thankfully, she managed to survive the attack and got her own justice. So, hell yeah. Fuck, like, dude. Hell yeah. What are we doing here? Like, don't blame, like, no. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ugh, God. I hate to say, like, men are the problem. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. I mean, the majority of the violent crimes are committed yeah, by not, men. Like, I not, understand that. I mean, yeah, they're by men upon yeah. men, but that doesn't discount what the fuck. Like, yeah. don't, like, if Ma, I feel, I feel like a, a desire inside of me, or like a, a some kind of need to protect. Of course, women especially. If we're walking mm-hmm. through a parking lot, like you make sure I get in my car before you. leave. And this isn't no simp shit. It's no, it's real not. life. I'm talking about taking. A, but, that's, like being like RoboCop full of bullets. No, uh, you also uh, you know? hear, I've noticed like men who have sisters, uh-huh. like they look out Fuck for em. other women. No, she, oh my God, Christopher. <laughs> Jesus. Oh shit. No, okay. I'm kidding. I love my they sisters. They look out for women more than mm-hmm. men that don't. But I feel like that's, that's like another thing too. And like why like men nowadays are like less inclined to be a gentleman because like the Dude, second they saying? are they're like uh, their friends are all like oh what are you a simp and then they're like no like they get anxious and like self-conscious about yeah. that and it but I'll, that's I'll be misogynistic discussion. in a positive way yeah i'll right. be like let me hold the door for you that was the you best know. sandwich you've ever made me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you listen you didn't cross i asked for the crust cut off but hey i love you yeah you know Remember? i'll just i'll just spit him out Aww. under the under the couch just, and you'll just find them while you're next vacuuming time, kitten. yeah you know well, yeah, yeah, no, right? I love you. <laughs> you, you just like put the crust behind your back and like the dog grabs it like <laughs> go hit the heavy bag for two and a half hours and she gets the point <laughs> oh, god yeah back onto the yeah back to the yeah. grime yeah <laughs> um cindy paulson escaped the butcher baker but barely um, on June 13th, 1983, Robert Hansen abducted 17-year-old Cindy Paulson and took her back to his home in Anchorage, Alaska, oh my uh, God. where he chained her up and subjected the teenager to terrifying acts of rape, torture, and sexual assault. Then Hansen forced Paulson into his vehicle and drove to a nearby airport. Um, Hansen, a bakery owner, a, a bakery owner with a wife and two children, attempted to make the 17-year-old... Um, his, board his private plane however the teenager certain her her captor would kill her if if she got into the aircraft managed to escape with handcuffs still on her wrists she flagged down a passing motorist who took her to safety while paulson immediately reported the abduction and rape to law enforcement even providing them with information that led them right to hansen's door the local business owner managed to convince police the teenager was trying to extort money from him Months later, the authorities finally arrested Hansen for committing multiple murders. A psychological criminal profile by the FBI confirmed that the man who attacked Paulson was most likely the serial killer who had taken the lives of multiple women in Anchorage. Hansen was given life in prison for his crimes and ultimately died of natural causes in 2014 while in police custody. Paulson went on to get married and have three children. And when a movie was made about Hansen, she actually met with Vanessa Hudgens, who played her in the film to share the details of her escape. There's Jeez. a movie about him. And it's Vanessa I didn't Hudgens. Even know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to. Also, first of all, what kind of fucking mm-hmm. what, what kind of baker was he? Was he on Hell's Kitchen? How was he able to afford a private he was uh, jet crazy. or some shit? No, private he was plane? in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah, but he had a, access to a private plane. I think in like, Alaska, this a lot guy, of them have planes because like, you can't, there's, you have oh, to Oh, it's where the Richies move? Yeah. I don't know. But he was like crazy. He, like this no. guy would like, um, he would let his victims go in the middle of the woods and like hunt them for sport. Like yeah. that, like that was his whole thing. Like Ugh. he, he was like, yeah. like there's a psychopath well, and then that, there's him. Like but that also a rare me- breed. Like, like, I mean, any poor fuck can do that, can just let someone go and catch them. Like, it's not, you don't need like money to do that, Ramsey but that's, Bolton shit. but isn't like, that some, like, private island, yeah. like, rich person? Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Kind of thing. Like, oh, we're going to hunt people. I don't know. You ever see like, The Pest with John Linguizamo? No. Oh. Well, it's kind of the same concept. Yeah. Well. Ugh. All right. Well. Someone has seen it. I'm telling you. Someone's going to listen to this and be like, dude. Yeah. Bro. He's bro. right. <laughs> He's right. John Linguizamo. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Uh, Chris poo poo pee pee. Chris poo poo pee pee. Well, no, there's no pee pee. There's no pee pee. No. Yeah. Okay, whatever. That's that's for the Patreon. Poop, 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 poop. That's for the Patreon. It's that's crazy. Just that's just poops. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney Bennett survived an attack from the Night Stalker. In the early hours of July 5th, 1985, Richard Ramirez entered 16 year old Whitney Bennett's bedroom through an unlocked window. He attacked the teenager with a tire iron and strangled her in the Sierra Madre, California home she shared with her parents. When she regained consciousness, Bennett screamed for her parents, who promptly got their daughter the medical attention she needed to save her life. Oh, no. My page. Okay. Uh. I'm telling you what. If Van Halen just released 5150 in 85 and say 86, none mm. of this would have happened. All right. While Ramirez, who was dubbed the Night Stalker for the brutal murders he committed in and around Los Angeles and San Francisco, stole some of the teenager's jewelry, he left behind a bloody fl- uh, footprint. Law enforcement used the link to uh, um, used to link the attack to the other crimes. The following month, Ramirez was apprehended, and in 1989, Bennett testified at his trial. She provided valuable testimony against the man who tried to murder her. Ramirez was convicted of multiple counts of murder, sexual assault, and attempted murder while he was sentenced to death. He passed away in uh, 2013 due to comp- uh, complications secondary to B-cell lymphoma. Good riddance. Yeah. Lymphoma. Dude, That's, it's like, uh... chess is no fun if only one person's having fun. You know what I'm saying? What? Like, with all that shit going on, it's like, why would you ever want to be... Mm. It's so psychotic. It's like you almost don't want to rationalize why you would assault mm. someone who's clearly not into it. Does like that make sense? Like someone that's completely unexpected? No, no. I'm saying like just taking advantage of someone. I mean. When they don't, they're not. Don't kill anybody ever. No. What, I mean even like the, okay, whatever. Okay. Yeah. The essay stuff, all that other oh, shit. Okay, I'm like, okay, that okay, just okay. Yeah. Yeah, fucking I don't, blows my mind. Like what, blows my mind. What do you get from that? Like what? I, I, mean, I know, but. There's some people that well, get off just, on the fear. Like of that, they're well, it's like the cre- it's like on Jeepers people. Creepers. Well, it's just like yeah. that's like some demon shit. Yeah, it's demonic. Well, like I was having this conversation. Well, you're with, a normal with, person, so yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> like, Christopher, stop it. Like, like we were actually having this conversation the other day, Jess. Like the reason why we can't rationalize what these people do is because our brains don't work like that. Yeah. We'll never genuinely understand them, which is terrifying. It's crazy. It's like just bad code. Yeah. It's like yeah. the fucking bad code in a computer or something. Just yeah. Just fucking fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Like one day we'll, we'll talk about like the McDonald's triad. Yeah. Which is like kind the of a The McDonald's check- triad? Not like McDonald's, like the restaurant. Oh, it's like okay. there's certain criteria a lot of these serial yeah. killers fit into. Like they usually all have um, a history first of abusing animals, mm-hmm. killing animals. Yes. What, fires, bedwetting, right? Lighting fires. Uh, bedwetting. They yeah. usually all at, at an adult age, though, or like no, pre- as a, pubescent, as pubescent. Children up until like a eleven, a, like a, a not normal age, double like, like a like an age that's not normal. Like you usually stop wetting the bed if you had that issue when you were little, like around like probably like seven years old or yeah, something like that. At worst, but like these these people will like wet the bed until they're like sixteen, seventeen, a, like a that doesn't, dramatic age, like. It, it doesn't yeah. if and if people are still wetting the bed when they're teenagers or whatever, that's also a, a sign of something way different. Yeah, yeah. Or it could also Obviously. be yeah, um, abuse, but also stuff like, like that. they the with the McDonald triad, like they usually have always had like a head injury at some point in but their It's almost yeah. always psychological. It's not like, hey, my bladder is like weak and it just no, it doesn't no, no. like it's carrying things. It's usually psychological. Yeah. yeah. It's gotta be psychological. Because another reason for late bedwetting is sexual assault. That's what I that's yeah. the other yeah. reason. So yeah. it, yes. you know, mm-hmm. but yeah. Now, side, I'm not going to sidebar long, but like mm-hmm. with Jeffrey Dahmer, was there anything going on in his family? He, his mother was very um, addicted to drugs and alcohol. Um, like she, like, like a lot of his trauma stems from like. Well, his mother left. Well, yeah. Too, and, I remember watching yeah. the old he was, like interview with him and his father. He used to collect like roadkill and stuff. Yeah. And, 
do stuff to it and then eventually mm-hmm. started killing neighborhood cats yeah and, mm-hmm. well, and then it just progressed from there yeah you know like it's crazy like um like yeah, a lot I mean, of his how... trauma stems from mm-hmm. like watching his mom like well, was it his how mother fast did his taste pervert because like, you know you start small and then you work your way up like was it over a decade that he went he from like he killed his first the first person he killed i think was right after graduating high school yeah and it was like an accident he, he didn't he said and yeah. how long was he killing yeah. cats and shit for uh, from the time he was probably like I'd say ten, ten. So like almost a decade there. in terms yeah. of slowly getting there. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking insane, dude. Yeah, but the whole roadkill a... thing he started with his father. I mean, his father used to get. Yeah, was his father like a hunter? Like I guess for like, yeah. trying to do taxidermy Cause his, and because like, his dad was just like, um, like oh, like he just wants to like indulge in my hobby. Like he wants to follow in my footsteps. So like, yeah, you his be, dad like... was just like, oh, like. Just innocently being like, oh, like my son wants to do what I do. So he was like teaching him how to do all these things and mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. But it turned out that it, Dahmer's interest was for more sinister reasons. Yeah, you can't, you can't like let that blind love of your kid just be like, yeah. oh, maybe he's liking this a little too much. Like, uh, let's go get you involved in like Boy Scouts or something. Like, yeah. Let's, yeah, I mean, like, or not, not even that, something else. Go play fucking frisbee. But like, but like to his defense though, like Dahmer's dad's defense though, like this was also like the seventies where like it wasn't. Well, like, was he abused? Do you think he was just born? Where it wasn't gone? very like mental health wasn't very. Um, talked about as yeah. it is now. So, you know. Yeah, I know his mother, like, really struggled in mental health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you think it was, like, hereditary? Like a genetic I thing? Know. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, yeah, I guess we should. Who's continue. next? Continue. Um, Kathy Kleiner, Karen Chandler, and Cheryl Thomas all went face-to-face with Ted Bundy and won. In the early morning hours of January 15th, 1978, Ted Bundy broke into an FSU a sorority house in Tallahassee, Florida, and brutally attacked four young members of the Chi Omega. Um, while he successfully murdered Margaret Bowman and Lisa Levy, two of the home, home's residents, Kathy Kleiner and Karen Chandler managed to survive the violent assaults. At that point, Bundy was a full-blown serial killer who took the lives of seri- several women in Washington, Oregon, Colorado, Idaho, and Utah before traveling to Florida. However, Bundy's reign of terror wasn't over. Shortly after killing two women and severely injuring two more, he broke into the nearby apartment of Cheryl Thomas, another FSU student. While he bludgeoned her repeatedly, Thomas, who was also studying to become a professional dancer, survived the attack but was left with permanent damage that prevented her from pursuing a career in dance, unfortunately. Bundy went on to kill his final victim, 12-year-old Kimberly Leach, in Lake City, Florida, before he was apprehended on February 15th, 1978. The day he after was... Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was walking to school when that mm-hmm. happened. Um, he was initially pulled over by an officer in the Florida Panhandle for driving a stolen vehicle. Bundy was eventually convicted of multiple murders and given the death penalty. Bundy was executed in Florida's electric chair on January 24th, 1989, and just prior to his scheduled death, Kleiner told the press, finally, for all the families of his victims, after all this time, there will be some peace of mind. While all three of Bundy's surviving victims were left with physical, emotional, and psychological trauma from the assaults they suffered at the hands of one of the world's most notorious serial killers, Kleiner, Chandler, and Thomas have all gone on to have personal and professional successes. Jesus. Crazy. At first, it sounded very Koberger. At first. Well, the college well, house. Yeah. Well, that's why they call Brian Koberger Walmart Ted Bundy. Cause it's, I've never heard that, like, but that's that yeah, kind of sense. I'm like, super excited for that trial. Yeah, me too. <laughs> when is that? It's like uh, late this year? No, it's August of 2025. Jesus Christ. So dude. it's uh, still a bit away. Which, like, why are you waiting? Like, yeah. just fucking kill yeah, him. You're just trying to find, like, an impartial like, jury or something. <laughs> Uh, Marcella Claxton crawled to a phone booth, bloodied and beaten, to save her life. Around 4 a.m. on the morning of May 9th, 1970, Marcella Claxton was viciously attacked by Peter Sutcliffe, a serial killer who had already murdered two victims and would go on to kill several more, as she was making her way back to her home in Leeds, England. Sutcliffe hit Claxton in the head multiple times with a hammer, knocking the young woman to the ground. Then, as blood poured from the 20-year-old's wounds, Sutcliffe masturbated over Claxton's body, um, 
sticking a five pound note in her hand before fleeing the scene. What the what fuck, fucking man? Fucking asshole. Yeah. yeah. What a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, remarkably, Claxton managed to crawl to a phone booth and call for help. She received more than 50 stitches and had to undergo brain surgery. Sadly, she was four months pregnant at the time of the attack and she suffered a miscarriage due to the um, horrifying event. After nearly killing Claxton, Sutcliffe, who was dubbed the Yorkshire Ripper by the media, went on to attack and murder several more women. He was eventually captured in 1980, and he, was, he eventually told police about beating Claxton with the hammer and leaving her for dead. Thankfully, Sutcliffe was given a life sentence for his crimes, while Claxton, who reportedly suffers chronic headaches and blackouts as a result of the near-fatal attack, went on to become a mother. Good for her. Fuck, so, dude. at least she has that. I but, can't like, imagine. Only, yeah, he went a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Like, but she's like, you know, I, I'm, you know, sometimes we all get hung up on, like, the idea of what could have been. And it's like, to lose a kid, I can't imagine. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, tr- I, I cannot. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, but Rebecca Garde uh, made Gary Ridgway show her his ID. On a rainy evening in November 1982, 20-year-old Rebecca Garde uh, was walking home from work in Seattle when she accepted a ride home from Gary Ridgway, uh, the Green River Killer. While she worked as a telemarketer, uh, Ridgway offered her some money to have sex with him, and Garde agreed. At her request, Ridgway showed her his employee ID for the company where he worked uh, painting trucks before accompanying him to a wooded area to have sex. Shortly, However, shortly after give, getting out of his truck, Ridgway attacked the, the young woman, forcing her to the ground and attempting to strangle her. Incredibly, Garde managed to get free from her attacker and ran, nearby home, ran to a nearby home for help, leaving Ridgway behind with his pants around his ankles. Good. Figuratively and literally. <laughs> While the young woman knew where her would-be killer worked, she didn't report the assault for two years, largely because sex workers were illegal in Washington state. Ridgway wasn't arrested until 2001, and he was eventually convicted of murdering 49 teenage girls and, what? Women and yes. given multiple life sentences Who for is his this? crimes. Gary Ridgway. Garden. Oh, that does sound familiar. Mm-hmm. The Green River Killer? That sounds kind of familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Garde, who could have easily been on one of the Green River Killer's victims, uh, later said, I got lucky and I was able to get away and run for help. Gary Ridgway, like, um, he is the guy who the police actually, when Ted Bundy was on death row, were like, look, there's all these murders happening in this area. Like, what do you think is happening? And he to said, To Ted? To Ted. And Ted's like, I'll, like, take me, you know. Did he know there. him or something? I think he, they took him to the area. He's like, I guarantee this guy is coming back to visit the bodies and do disgusting things with them. Um, and kind of just gave them, like, a little bit of a an profile. insight yeah. into what to look for mm-hmm. with this guy. Um, and Gary Ridgway, like, they even, like, he even said that, um, because he was asked, why did you, like, why did you stop? Because, like, he did all, he's like, because I got married. Yeah. Gary Ridgway? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, a lot of these he sold the Porsche. killers. He just sold the Porsche? <laughs> he, pretty much? Like, a lot of these serial killers will, like, experience, like, um, like, a very positive, like, um. Life event. L- life event where they, where it makes them stop because they have, like, a serotonin brush going on through their head but mm-hmm. like but like um in the case of like john wayne gacy when he eventually fell out of these honeymoon phases with his wife um he would go back to killing and mm-hmm. everything so it, it's just these people will act when they need that rush. sadistic yeah. rush and and that's and if why nothing can compare it to it yeah. then that's all they're gonna do I, yeah, yeah like but like, like golden state killer he finally he stopped when his mm-hmm. like last kid was born yeah like, uh, cause like cold turkey, I'm like, over it. Cause like, like that's what, so um, last week that, that, that's yeah. what, um, sets them apart, um, b- from mass killers because mass killers just kill, kill, kill. Mm-hmm. But, um, serial killers have like a cool off period mm-hmm. between each kill. So it's just like, mm-hmm. like you might like, like 
you, they might kill two people in January, February, there's no kills, March, there's four. And mm-hmm. then BTK like, was just starting yeah. to go back into like that. Yeah. That, because what is he doing mm-hmm. before the killing his wife? Period. No, this was like, he was like, he took a long cool off period that he started antagonizing the police and like sending them things and mm-hmm. like, oh, like send him a message like, oh, there's a package for you at this store and they yeah. got it. And then the, they asked him, like he sent a thing to the cops, like, or he, he's like, the floppy uh, disk. Oh my, he's like, <laughs> he's like, if I send a floppy disk, it can't be tracked. Right. And they're like, no, no, not at all. Yeah, Don't yeah. know. The police will lie to you, obviously. Uh, yeah, and so they did, and the, the floppy disk was tracked to his church where he was, like, yeah. a higher up. Like, I've heard precincts getting, idiot. like, you know, um, they'll get sent in the mail, like, a flash drive, mm-hmm. and, like, oh, mul- multiple officers will plug it in, and it, like, will fucking fry this, like, viruses, essentially. I'm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there is a way to... You see what's on a, a disc or whatever, depending on what it's got, safely. Yeah. But that I'm is sorry, weird that they wind up, like, same thing with the Zodiac. Like, they just kind of prod and they fuck with you and... It's like someone someone sends you a fucking flash drive and you... I'm plugging that shit in you out of your mind. And you put it into your computer <laughs> at, at, like, the police precinct and it just plays the you are an idiot shit. It's just Rick Rolled. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. No! And they hank off me for wasting their time. All right. So the next one is actually one I wanted to cover this case eventually, but mm-hmm. I guess we're just getting to it right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Corazon Amareo helped identify her attacker. On July 14th, 1966, Richard Speck broke into a Chicago townhouse shared by several... I don't like this man. I know. Student nurses, eventually murdering all of the women inside the home, except for Corazon Amareo. Uh, Amareo hid under a bed while Speck took eight of her fellow nurses one by one into another room where he strangled or stabbed them to death. After, rape, after the raping and murdering of Gloria Davy, his final victim, Speck fled the crime scene, but he was arrested a few days later. He tried to kill himself and was admitted to a Chicago hospital where a doctor recognized the wanted killer from a sketch created with the help of Amareo, the only survivor of the attack. Amareo testified at Speck's trial in April 1967, and when she was asked to identify the person who murdered eight of her friends, she got up from the witness box, crossed the courtroom, and stood directly in front of Speck, pointing directly at the mass murderer. Amareo said, this is the man. What a queen. Yeah. Speck was convicted and sentenced to death for his crimes, while Amareo went on to become a nurse, wife, mother, and grandmother. Speck's sentence was eventually char- uh, changed to life in prison, and he died of a heart attack in 1991 while the police, while in police custody. Decades after the attack, Amareo contributed her miraculous survival to a divine intervention, saying God was so nice. She rolled oh. under a bunk bed. I'm surprised they didn't, like the other ladies didn't just give her away. She like, was not- one of the last ones. She was like he. Oh, she okay. So like, he like lost count. He lost count and like she rolled t- into like the bed and like rolled all the way against the wall. And I guess he came and he's like, all right, like and he left. And like when the police got there, they said like the blood was so raw, like the cops were throwing up because like the mm-hmm. smell. It was just yeah awful. Yeah. Like have you seen Murder House mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. American Horror Story? No. Yes. You've seen it. Yes. Well, there's a nod to Richard Speck yeah. in there with the nurses. Yeah. Like that's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, she, I hope she, I hope they all Christ. live in the I can't life. imagine like the survivor's guilt too. Like I, I mean, that's something that would fuck me up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, not that it's her fault. It's not your fault for surviving, but it's just like to be one of the. Vera Shiva. Vera Shiva. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Maria Virashiva managed to climb out of a manhole, but the police didn't believe she was the victim of a vicious killer. On the evening of February 23, 2002, Maria Virashiva, a 19-year-old pregnant woman, ran into Alexander Pishuskin, an acquaintance of her boyfriend, at a metro station in Moscow, Russia. Virashiva, who who earlier had gotten into an argument with her boyfriend, agreed to go with Pishuskin to look at some black market electronics in a nearby park. He what? Op- yeah. <laughs> That's sketchy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to refer to them by their first names. From say now P. On. Say P. It almost yeah. looks like Pikachu. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> not a sponsor. Not a sponsor, yeah, right? <laughs> Pikachu is um, not a sponsor. He opened a manhole where the electronics were allegedly kept and threw the young woman inside, repeatedly hitting Maria's head against the concrete sides of the well. 
She ended up falling more than 20 feet into a sewage pipe and nearly drowned as she was pulled by the current of the underground system. Eventually, Maria managed to climb up a metal ladder, but she was unable to dislodge, dislodge the heavy manhole cover. Thankfully, a woman walked by as Maria tried to escape, and she was eventually freed with the help of two security guards. Miraculously, both the 19-year-old and her unborn child survived. And while she reported the terrifying incident to law enforcement, Alexander was not arrested for trying to kill Maria. Instead, an officer reportedly uh, forced the teenager to sign an official statement that she accidentally fell into the well. Alexander, a Russian serial killer who had already murdered several victims, killed at least 49 people between 1992 and 2006. So if he had been stopped when he attacked Maria, multiple lives could have been saved. In 2007, Alexander was sentenced to life in prison for his crimes, and he was ordered to spend the, the, this first 15 years behind bars in solitary confinement. 15 fucking years That's in it? solitary. Holy shit. And like... Ladies, if someone goes, oh, I want to show you something down a manhole, just just don't. No, no. Don't. Well, no. It's not going to be the fucking Donatello don't. and Raphael. And like, obviously, no. like, obviously, like, a, you, like, she, you know, didn't know that was going to happen. And you it's know. awful, awful, awful. And but also, may, if a woman she... says she was attacked, give her the benefit of the doubt and, like, 100%. Take mm. the statement. I mean, like, this is my thing. I know people make shit up, but what is the, what is the fucking like ratio you think majority of over half of people are making being assaulted up no you know do your own due dil- diligence listen Anything? to the fucking story and and then no, be like, like first you're of all like, of who would wants to go like in the fucking shit river underneath this the fucking right? city yeah she made like, it up she threw like, herself no. down there like no what the fuck no. is she and even if it is, and even if it like is a made up story like your job as an officer is to protect and serve so if like, she's got off, shit like, in her hair you think yeah. she's making it up she's like i just felt like going for a walk Wait, yeah, like, I'm like, going for a swim. No, no, no. Oh, God. I'm surprised the baby survived. That's fucking That's awesome. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, good, but... Shit. I would be rubbing that in my friends' faces all the time when I grew up. The shit? I'd be like, I, listen, you, you you complain? I was in a fucking sewer when I was in the womb. Where were you? <laughs> Nothing to say. I got nothing. Got shit to say. <laughs> go on, go on. Okay. This is crazy. And for the last story. No pun intended. Kate Moore turned her horrifying experience into a way to help other victims. In November, on November 9th, 1986, 17-year-old Kate Moore, who uh, was kidnapped by David and Catherine Burney, a married couple who had already abducted and murdered four women and girls ranging in age from 15 to 31. Moore was taken to the Burney's home in uh, Willoughby, Australia, where David repeatedly raped the teenager at knife point as his wife Catherine watched. She even took notes about the brutal sexual assaults. The following morning, David went to work, leaving Moore at home with Catherine. When a visitor came to the couple's home, the 17-year-old, who Catherine had failed to restrain, managed to force open a window in the bedroom where she was being held captive. She knocked on the doors of three of the uh, nearest houses, discovering the Bernie's neighbors weren't home, until she found a man outside of a store who immediately drove Moore to the police station. When Moore later recounted her first night as a captive in the Bernie's home, she said, I had a 200% chance of dying and a 5% chance of getting away. Thanks to Moore's brave escape, David and Catherine were convicted of multiple murders and they were given life sentences for their crimes. David killed himself in prison in 2005 uh, while Catherine was denied parole in 2007. Moore has dedicated her life to advocating for victims' rights, demanding truth in sentencing, and asking the courts to deny parole for sex offenders and people who commit premeditated murder. And that is the survival stories of all these brave, brave, brave women. Um, yes. My God. Yes. I'm surprised there was two guys on that list that were had 49s. Mm-hmm. is that weird? Yeah. That's fucked up, man. Well, there's people That's a of, big number. There are killers huge... out there who have killed more. Oh no, Samuel of, course. Little? of course, but yeah. I mean, Jesus, like, fuck, crazy. dude. Sa- Samuel Little killed ninety three. If I'm recalling correctly. Oh my correctly. god, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, H. H. Holmes, like yeah, oh, like over two hundred, right? Wild, I'm crazy. Uh, but anyway, we've been going for a while. Yes, we about have. two hours. Uh, really? No. No. Okay. About oh, forty five minutes. Huh? No, I'm kidding. No. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How long does it say? It says one thirteen. Okay, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. No. Um. Yeah, it's a lot of a uh, lot of information there. Yes. 
wild. Yes. Yeah. There was one story. I got to find it about this lady. Um, she, like, in her apartment building, like, the security guard attacked her and uh-huh. left his hat there. Uh-huh. And then mm. all of a sudden, it was... I've seen that with a the jacket. They always leave a fucking like some, jacket there was something, on a doorknob. And then the, the, the person mm-hmm. who came to, like, help her, she's like... She realized, you know, it was the security guard that mm-hmm. was in her apartment. I don't know. It's a whole thing. I'll have to figure it out. Um, this is new or older? This is fairly new. Within the, It's definitely within the last 20 years. I talk Shit. about this one all the time. The one that out of South South Africa, um, mm-hmm. Alison Botha, she mm-hmm. um, survived getting decapitated and disemboweled. Jesus Christ. She no. survived all that shit. No. How do you survive being decapitated? She, Wait. Like she like um said, uh-huh. um like she stood up and she like literally felt her head go like that, and she like put her fingers here and she like and her fingers literally went into her jugular. So she took her head, like snapped it back on basically, uh-uh. and then like put like put put all her organs back inside. Like We're definitely going to need the warning at the front of this yeah. episode. Yeah. I think you're describing death becomes her. It's like, I'm mean? just still and thinking about that, tra- that Thanksgiving walked. trailer that I just saw. Yeah. Wait, he's yeah. fucking the turkey? No, no. Oh, no. the knife in the cooter. Okay. Oh, God. No. You guys got to watch the old Thanksgiving. You remember the Eli Roth movie Thanksgiving? In 2007, uh-huh. there, he made a fake trailer in between one of the Tarantino, um, Robert Rodriguez, Grindhouse movies. It's gonna and then, haunt me. And then 17 years yeah. later, he made the actual movie. I feel weird again. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's probably the worst place for a knife. I mean, no, uh, no, no. I can, no. Well, what's wrong? I just like no. I'm picturing it. No. <laughs> yeah. no Not no, to no, mention no. on the trampoline. No. Oh. No. no. You think you're just having some, you know, playful, wholesome, whimsical fun around the holidays? I mean, which, no, no. I can't. Yeah. But definitely watch Thanksgiving. The I tight. will. We'll watch it as long as you promise that that seems not I right. don't think it is, but I'll, I'll make sure it isn't. And if it is, I'll warn you. I, God. I guess we're fair. We're like, we're even Steven now. Yeah. yeah. You've like, turned my stomach enough with all this stuff. I feel like I have. And I'm going to have to go home and watch, like, Family Matters. <laughs> no. As soon as I see Harriet holding a hamper, uh, I'll be... I'll be all's right in the world. Right as, I'll be red as rain. Right Good stuff. Right as rain. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Yeah. Well, yeah, they're gonna need an everything shower this, after that. I'm gonna need to scrub the insides of my ears. <laughs> yeah, the insides. <laughs> yeah, just real deep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll do it for us for tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You wanna like? We, I feel like they need a palate cleanser. Like we need a palate mm. cleanser for the end of the. What's a good palate the cleanser? Episodes like something. We, know, we need a laugh. We need I a know laugh. the perfect one. Are you gonna play a poopy song? God damn it! I don't want to get copyrighted. Is there a LeBron one? We can we could give a LeBron a poopy LeBron. Wait, is there? Oh. Yeah, we could. Yeah, let's actually, give give one. Yeah. He gave us some good uh, subject material last week. He the did. Uh, user submitted LeBron, ghost this, stories, this which scared me you. my core. I hope it makes there's, you giggle. There's, there's not a LeBron. Poop, no. But there, but We're gonna have to change that. But, no. there, but there's a Kobe poop song. No, that's no, 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 no. All right, LeBron, anyway, we're thinking about you. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm always thinking you, about you. And also, a big shout out. Thank you guys again for everyone that wrote in last week. That yes. was amazing. And I yeah. want to do more. Yes. So if you have more stories, please send them my yeah. way. I'm going to harass my and parents even if for they're, their ghost stories. Please do. Even yes. if they're minute, as long as they're real experiences. Yeah. I'm I'm open to hear, as long as it's something you fucking experience, you couldn't even, even if you can't explain mm-hmm. it. I'm, I'm down for some muddy details. Because mm-hmm. some things are weirder than words Our goal is to make Chris cry again. Don't do that. <laughs> Not in my good shirt. Dear David. Ah. No. Dear David. Dear David. Dear David. Stop. Dear We're going to do a whole episode just on him. See, I'll tell you what. Like, little boy ghosts are scary, but old lady ghosts, oh my that's God. where it's at. That's, that's. That's what the say, fucking I got, like, freaks me out. Like a Victorian nightgown. No, not even. Just an old fucking lady. I got super stoned the other an night. An old lady looking like she's going to the movies. That'll scare the shit out of me. And I texted Chris. Because I have twin sons. People that don't know, I have twin sons. Uh-huh. I was like, imagine if my last name was Menendez and I named my sons Kyle and Derek. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, you said that to me, right? Yeah. I remember reading that like, give I, me a fucking break. I know. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I just go. But at the time, I was laughing so hard to myself. It's a good one. That. Yeah. I, it was so stupid. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, what if? Like, what would I say? It's like, sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, I heard like, the mom's not, a, you know, not the <laughs> b- promise, brightest crayon in the box. I, I'm a good mommy. 
Oh man, I was trying to pull up that Gary Busey video. <laughs> I saw one recently of him talking about buttered sausage again, but this one was real. Is that real. real? No, there was a new one he made. I guess it was a cameo. Oh. He's like, every morning, I like you know to eat buttered sausage. You know what she for a cameo? Like what? five hundred dollars. That's crazy. I mean, hey, he's grinding, man. It's, it's economy. I know, I know. You have buseflation. <laughs> buseflation is yeah, crazy. Buseflation is real. Oh my god, my foot is asleep because I can't sit like a normal uh, person. I have to sit like a. Wake child. it up. <laughs> let, let me get a crack at it. All right, Gary. That's all right. Oh, this. What is? <laughs> <laughs> he takes this, everything literally. The what? secret That's all right. word. What is? The secret word for this episode, because I've been saying it a lot, is crazy. Crazy. No, I think yeah. it should be poop. poop. Oh, yeah. Poop, yeah, poop. So, yeah, I get that. Because crazy could be any episode. Yeah, we say it. Like, yeah. Yeah. And there was something else that reminded me from last week's episode that, that cracked me up. I forget what it was. Heard the poop comment fucking wipe my brain. Oh, maybe I'll remember it before we, we close it out. Maybe uh, I'll remember it. Uh, we're wrapping up. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wish I had a palate cleanser ready for you guys but i don't i really should you know all I'm the like, jokes i know are disgusting and, and, uh, putrid yeah, and no. really just not gonna bode I, well whew. well i think that's gonna do it for us tonight yes we are on patreon yes at yes. coffee and scream i will have the link in the description Woo. um we are on buymeacoffee.com slash coffee scream if you'd like to support the show. It all goes to new equipment and for us to be able to do more fun things for the show. Um, yes. uh, we are on Twitter at C Scream Pod. That's mm-hmm. C the letter Scream Pod. I am it's Jess G. That's Jess with one S. We are all we are on Spotify. We are on Apple. We are on YouTube. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, leave us a nice review. Really makes our day. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, like, turn that yeah. shit off. I got something better. Mm-hmm. On mm-hmm. the Instagram, which we are at Coffee and Scream Pod, we have just hit 100 followers on there. Oh, my I, God. We are winning. Oh, shit. We are winning. I'm very excited. And my personal on Instagram is Piper A04. Are Guys. <laughs> were you done? I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Guys. Mm-hmm. Twitch.tv forward slash Wonder Time Theater Tuesdays at 7. Whoa. Twitter, mine is at Christopher. Figure it out. I'm sure you can find it through just C H R A S T E H F U R R. You can rewind that and put it in times 0.5 speed. Yeah, slow that down. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an auctioneer outside of this. <laughs> I'm an auctioneer. Nothing's for sale. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. But it was a great show, you know. Yeah, when was this? When did you watch that? Today. Nice. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do it for us yes. this mm-hmm. week. Um, so yeah, lock your doors and stay safe. Bye. Bye.